A scene which played out across the country in February. Swollen rivers flooding towns, ruining thousands of homes and destroying businesses. For the bookcase in Hebden Bridge, this was the third time in the past decade floodwaters had breached the shop. We flooded first in this shop in um, 2012. Um, we had the Boxing Day floods um, of 2015, which was um, absolutely horrendous. And then um, we flooded um, in February this year. This time, though, Kate was able to reopen quicker because of measures the government's new strategy calls building back better. We've got a very impressive sign. Um, our sign now doubles as a, um, a flood defence barrier, so if um, we're at risk of flooding, we can just drop our sign down and it acts um, not only as a barrier against water, but also um, against any debris. Yeah, we've got a solid um, floor now, which is easy to wash down. We've raised our plug sockets. The government wants us to learn to live with floods by replicating these kinds of resilience building measures across the UK. But for the rivers themselves, they're planning on using more natural solutions. So it's a combination of both hard defences and soft engineering, working with natural processes to really deliver a step change in flood protection. Those softer measures, working with natural processes, is really important for long-term resilience, both in terms of drought and flood risk. Campaigners have welcomed this new approach, but say much more work is needed, with the Environment Agency predicting more extreme weather, including a 59% rise in rainfall by 2050. Vincent McAvinney, 5 News, Hebden Bridge.